Hello everybody, Hi Flyers Tag Team back here with another video again today. On today's video we'll be doing something that might surprise you guys. Um, so looking at the title you think I'm going to be reviewing just one figure, but it's actually going to be a 2 in 1 review. Um, I just don't think the other figure really needs to really be clued into the title. So I got two guys today, the NECA. Bio, uh, breath, uh, goji. Oh no. Okay, my dog's calm. So, uh, the Godzilla 2014 release. Which, by the way, I have on standby the, uh, the original Godzilla release from back in 2014. I was actually looking at mine. I can tell he's kind of dipped a bit in quality over the years, but I mean, he's still pretty good. Um, but the reason I was willing to buy the reissues, because the reissue apparently is very different. Uh, or, not very, but it's actually quite a bit different. So, to talk about the box, you can already see from the start, there's some nice coloration there and stuff. Alright. Spin all around. And then the same, and then the same with 2014 there, you can see inside. So, let's get these guys out of their boxes. Alright, so both these guys managed to piss me off. This one especially. Not, like, the figure's quality, per se, other than some issues with him. But, man, the fucking tails and stuff, dude. Oh, my God. So, let's go ahead and start with, uh, uh, the new figure. Just talk about it now. The 2014 release, I'm gonna just tell you guys ahead of time, is way better you'll see why so I mean I've done reviews on this guy nothing too different all the articulation is the same on him he just got this really nice coat of like a green yellow paint um mine has some quality control issues I doubt you guys can see it if you can uh when I close his hand so there was like there's like glue on it so I had to struggle to close his hand if you could see there's glue there on the head there was some glue uh under the neck i think or yeah i see it it was like under the neck you have to turn its head a bit there was some on the back too it was a mess i hope that's just some stuff i can scrape off other than that it looks really good i'm pleasantly surprised i was way more excited for this one than the uh the Kiryu Goji, which is sad to say because Kiryu Goji is my favorite Godzilla design, but this figure is just amazing. It's definitely one of NECA's best, if not their best, <laughs> with uh, the exception of someone like this guy right here. We'll get on to him in a minute. Again, he's got this gorgeous, he comes with the gorgeous tail with so much articulation. It's so nice. I love this tail. Uh, the tip still is wired I think um nothing much change he comes with the same accessories so you can stick the atomic breath down his throat and get some cool you know after Biolante you know shoots her stuff I bet this guy will make some really good displays with the SH Monster Arts repaint of Biolante coming out if you guys are getting that I know I am and I'm super excited for it My mine's a little wet right now by the way because I had to use hot water to get his tail on because man it was a pain in the ass it was nothing like the first release but yeah all in all i do really like the green paint i was not a lot of people were disappointed with these guys because they weren't poster versions or weren't like atomic breath versions or something i will agree yes it's really situational with both of them i don't have the other one i just know it's like very hard to make something good out with them you almost to say but uh, that's okay with this guy. This guy... This guy just looks good. You don't even need the Biolante. Like, it's such a cool design with all the green smudge, you know, paint stuff on his body. It lo actually looks very cool. Very cool. Do I prefer this release over the standard? Personally, if you ask me, I'm the type of guy who likes to get standard figures. I don't like all the fancy ones too much. I rarely get them, with some exceptions. 
Um, you know, like, other than, like, Burning God's Old... Well, Burning God's Old 2019 is a huge exception. Since that's almost, like, a completely different character in a way. It's, like, licensed different. Um, you know, the Burning God's Old list. But stuff like poster versions and Spitfire and Bile, you know, the acid shit, usually not my type of stuff. So, yeah, I'd probably prefer the standard release, which mine's a great figure. I got a great quality one. This guy's really cool, too. I don't even know if I'm going to pick up the Kiryu one, to be honest. I was looking for him. If he was there today, I would have got him, but I'm not that excited for it, to be honest. Let's talk about this beauty, though. So, I don't think I've ever done a review for this one. Never when it came out back in 2014. I don't think I did. But he's a great figure. I've used the original in tons of animations and different stuff I've done over the years. Um, him and the SH Monster Arts. This one took everything great about him. Just enhances it. He has what seems like more posability. One of the big differences you'll notice is there is actually a ball joint at it right here. So, you can move him at the chest. So you can make him stand up higher. I'm not sure, but I think they might have added it so you can make him look up more too. Um, so it's a great combination. You can, you can. There's a lot more options with this. The paint's a lot better too. Like I'm looking at him right now. Thank God they painted his belly. That's something I hated so much about 2014 merch too. Like, with the stuff like NECA and Bandai. They never gave him that brown belly that he had in the movie. Thank God the PS4 game included that. Uh, even though the SH Monster Arts figure didn't, I don't believe. Alright. I mean, the, the original NECA has it. But, as you can see, it's not nearly as clear. Um, I'm actually dumb right now, by the way. My bad. I, there, I just realized there is actually a hip or a stomach ball joint difference being though is that this one is just it's quite different it's a lot more apparent if you just look at them from the back maybe hold on let me move him you can see clearly there's a big space difference and stuff this this one they did something with the ball joint i don't know what it is but you can just it seems like there's a lot more posability with them the paint is way better I mean, like, let's see. Can I get him to stand up the way? That's the tallest I can get him to stand. And I can't, from where I'm at, it looks like, yeah, it definitely looks like this one stands a lot higher. The colors look a lot more accurate. Uh, like I said, this guy's old. I've had him since 2014. His quality might be fading a bit. Like, I noticed teeth paint and stuff I've never noticed before I don't know if that's a recent issue or not this reissue though while there's not too much different I still do recommend it if you love 2014 design this figure I was had no intention of getting per se unless I saw it. I told myself if I see it in a store I'll grab it in case you guys don't know 2014 is one of my favorite Godzilla designs of all time I absolutely loved everything about 2014 if you know me I'm a fanboy for 2014 um, and yeah, you know, the more 2014 merch, I love it. You know, I'm excited. Playmates doing some 2014. I absolutely love 2014 Godzilla. One of my favorites. I hope in future video games, if they bring in legendary Godzilla, they at least some way, even if it's a skin, include the 2014 one. I hope they don't just straight up just do 2019 for everything or 2021, which will be the more likely one. Um, yeah, these figures look great. I mean, the original is really good, too. I really wish they got to release their Spitfire version that they talked about. But I would say, quality-wise, the new one definitely seems superior. It seems like they've changed just enough about it. It just feels a lot nicer. The joints feel like they're tighter. The paint, like I said, is more accurate. Um, plus, if your old one's kind of a little bit dwindling in the quality like mine, it's a good pickup. Plus the issue with this one versus the new one. The original release, a lot of people didn't know this, but there's actually three different color variants out there, which caused some issues with people. There was a blue one, a gray one, which I think is the one I have, and I think a green one or brown. It was something like that. And thankfully, 
the new one, see, from what I've seen, everyone's state, it's come in one color. It's the nice charcoal black with the belly paint in it. It all looks nice. Articulation is the same. There's not much to talk about. I do wish the mouth could open wider. Can the original? Yeah, I don't know why they make the mouth not open hardly at all. Um, if there's any other reissues I buy from NECA, it will definitely be 84 since that's like almost a whole new figure. Um, I might buy a King of the Monsters reissue too since my first I got the first release and it is absolute trash. Maybe a Fire Gods look because I heard that reissue is pretty good. And maybe another Rodan because my Rodan got broke. So, what do you guys think of all these guys? I, I, wow. You know, I'm actually not disappointed with getting the 2014. Hopefully the video quality looked good since uh, I have the light on and stuff. I hope you guys can see the visual, like, differences. Like, this guy looks a lot more, like, glowy, too, or, like, he reflects more than this one. All these guys look great, though. Hopefully, I can get some of the paint issues off of him. Not the paint, the, uh, freaking glue stuff. But, thank you all for watching. Hope everyone has a good day. And, as always, peace out, and bye-bye. Thank you for watching.